what's going on with you guys thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel i'm cleveland so today we're gonna have to clean this 125 behind me guys i was just talking about having to do this in the other video and today we need to make sure this happens so if you notice not only does it need to be clean but the scape the scape is just not doing it for us anymore guys i'm not happy with this scape i feel like this driftwood in here is constantly making the tank dirty so i want to go ahead and take that out take out all the driftwood you know with the white sand i don't want it to have all those tannins leaching in the water it just makes it look dirty with the blue background white sand we don't want to have a brown tank so i'm going to remove the driftwood i'm going to do a different setup in here and then uh, clean the filter we have the butter tank sump that we may or may not have to clean probably going to do some cleaning up there on the sump i'm going to clean that canister filter and uh let's go ahead and get this done all right so now these little containers right here are lifesavers use those all the time Move that fish food out the way. Get all of this stuff out the way right here. So I actually did a little mock-up on the floor of how I intend to uh, to put the scape in here. I'm thinking something like this. I think something like this will suffice. I think it'll look really good. And... Uh, it actually will complement the sand. Like I said, once this driftwood is out of here, I think it'll be good. So, oh, the camera's a little turn. So, I will unplug this canister filter. Unplug my circulation pumps. I haven't cleaned my canister filter in maybe maybe a month. But this really is necessary. Easy cleaning. So obviously when you do obviously when you do a water change it's much faster. But when it comes to cleaning those canister filters and your filters and then also doing the rescape I'll take some time so this video is gonna take a little time I hope you're ready for that you see the you see how long this is gonna take well I don't know how long it'll take right now but when you guys click on this video you guys know how long it's taking because you see the timestamp on the video but uh, so first thing I want to do is get in here wipe down this glass, get this algae off of here. There's a couple ways of doing it. You could do it once you uh, drain the tank some. You could do it with the water still in there like I'm doing. It's really up to you. I just like to switch it up sometimes. I get bored with things being so repetitive. So first thing, get all this off. The thing about doing it with the water still in there basically you release it into the water and then you get it all right out opposed to if you do it after the fact or if you do it later on it don't dilute it as much and you don't get as much out So let me go ahead and wipe this glass down and then I'll be right back. That's the wipe down. That's the wipe down of the glass. Now it's time to siphon out. First I need to, let me remove everything. And then, then I will siphon out. You can't even see me. Oh, I was on. I was off camera the whole time. All right, so 
The whole time I was over here cleaning the glass over here next to Oscar. So now let me just take everything out, put it inside that bucket right there, or that little container. There's one of our catfish. And then, um, and we're gonna really do something with this tank. There we go. Heavy light. I don't know if you can see that from there, but that's the the tannins. I swear I can't stand that. It's the worst part about it. If it wasn't for that, it'd be dope. Now I don't know how many catfish are in here, which actually worries me. So we see one sticking out right there. But I know it's more than that. I guess I gotta just remove everything. And that one is even that one is even worse. Look at that. So I'll remove everything and then do a count. Then I'll know how many is still left in here. But a cleaning like this is definitely gonna take some, take some hours. I've gotten good at it. So it's definitely a method to it that should speed things up. And I hope that's the case here. I wanna take little man to the park. Get some of this sun. As you can tell, it's a really, really nice day out today. Get out all this driftwood. I think it would be nice in like a small planet tank or something like that. You have like maybe some guppies or sword tails, something like that. But for a tank like this, I don't think those pieces of driftwood is doing us good because look at how brown this tank is. Can't you, you can't see I'm looking at the camera right now and it don't look that bad. But it's the color of tea. It's tea colored. So who wants a tea tank? I know I don't. This was this is a really nice piece right here. I really love this piece. The fact that it's a perfect circle little donut. Holds a lot of water too. All right, let's get these last oh with well, this last piece. So it looks like Looks like we have a bunch of catfish in that piece of driftwood. And that, my friends, complicates things. Got at least two in there. see him tuck he's right there so I don't know how we're gonna get him to come out so what I'll do is I'll siphon some water put it inside this bucket right here and then um, and then I'll go ahead and just put that piece of wood in there and hopefully they will come out 
Got one trying to, got a catfish trying to go in there and hide, which is not good. Look at that. Remind you, I've had that piece of driftwood for some years now. And then we have to do a really good sand vac. Same way we did with the turtle tank. There you go. Now you see that tea color. See? It's tea. Straight tea. And yeah, so I gotta clean all this out, clean all that. Time to vacuum this. Don't mind those guys. All right, guys. So I got this thing looking about 90% better, if not more. I feel like I can siphon out a little bit more, but it's pretty much where it's gonna be. Um, I'll continue getting out the rest of this debris and and any of this stuff, like pieces of driftwood as the time progress, cause it's, it's a lot. I mean, I've been doing this for about 30 minutes and it really shouldn't take that much time. But, um, so that's basically it. I mean, you know, it's nice to have, you know, extra, aquascaping material so just collect it you know what i mean like don't throw nothing away and um you know switch up the setups i don't ever just keep my setup one way for a long long period of time i don't really like doing that i like to switch it up you know it keeps it fresh you know especially since i keep aggressive fish so you know maybe if you had you know community fish and you know, very friendly fish, things like that. Maybe you wouldn't have to worry about um, switching up the setups and things like that as time we're on. But when you have these aggressive fish, switching up the tanks, switching up the, the core in there, it will basically make it all fresh and new for your fish since they already have their tear toys and things like that. So I'm just gonna let this hang. And then we'll just keep on siphoning out more water. Let me give you a look at what's going on. All right guys, so here we are. So we have a lot of that substrate siphoned, cleaned. We still have quite a bit of water in there. And as you can see, still got some uh, some algae on the glass that we wipe off. Wipe that off with a rag like it's nothing. There we go. There we go. Wipe it down like little Bushy said, wipe me down. All right, so. As you can see, Houston right there it's looking stressed. That's because these two, I think they done paired up on them. This orange one was Houston's girlfriend. But this guy right here came in here and uh, and wooed her. So now she got a new boo. This guy right here. So we still have a name him. But we got to come up with a name for him. 
And um, hopefully the setup works for everybody though. They're not they're not, they're not bothering Oscar whatsoever. But Houston, Houston right there has a problem. But let me go ahead. I'm gonna put the decor back in here first before I even finish. So I'm going to basically put all the decor back in here first before I even add the water, before I clean the filters, mainly because Houston's over there getting getting picked on. So we can't have that. So like I said, I'm gonna put this rock work in the tank the same way that I have it set up right here. At least that's what I'm gonna, going to try and do. We'll see how that works out. Start off with this piece right here. There we go. Thing on this piece right here. There we go, just like that. Had this one right here, like that. Got that one right there. We'll use this piece for something. Kind of like that. I wasn't really expected, but you know what? I like it. And we got another big piece over there. So with that being said, we using it. We using it in the right place. Just down here. Okay, okay. Look how that's coming out. Let me bring you in closer, guys. So how you guys able to see what I'm doing? Look at that. It's a little bit different. But it looks real good. You gotta admit, guys, it looks really good. So as I'm also doing that, let me bring you back just a little bit because I wanna siphon out some more water. I also wanna vacuum this substrate over here a bit. And then I also gotta get over here because I got some big rock that I wanna put over here. Look at that, siphon going. Yeah, siphon going, good. So I'll just get... Ah. There we go. All right, so we're going to get some of this right here siphoned up. And all this is just accumulated over time. Like the smaller, small, small, fine pieces are from, you know, months and of having the driftwood in here and it being big and little pieces breaking up and breaking down and all that so this is this is that's the reason why it's so dirty it's not like dirt and it's definitely not like you know fish waste it's literally the organics and pieces of that driftwood just like that Still got to siphon out more water though. All right, so now we got this big piece right here. Big old rock right here that I need to use. Look at that big old rock. Where is it at? There you go. So we're gonna put that, we're gonna put that right there. Set it on that, <clears throat> leaning on that actually. And can you believe it? that our catfish are still hiding out in the driftwood. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. They need to come out. There we go. Like that, I think I like that. Another cave, so it's, again, it's not always gonna be the same setup, guys. I mean, I can raise that up higher 
And the way I did that. I can raise it up higher like that. And the way that worked is with this piece. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, so now we are done. I pulled out all the water that I actually want to pull out from this aquarium. I set up the decor the way I wanted it set up. I vacuumed this sand as much as I could. I even went and pulled out the bigger pieces because I wanted to get, I wanted the sand to look as clean as possible. I even removed one of the fish. I don't know if you were noticing, but we had a pair of red devils and they were going after our red Texas and we can't have that, can't have that. So temporarily, I move the red devil, the red and white one, into the other 125. I'll leave him over there for a while, and then I'll obviously move him back. But I think he'll do okay over there. And uh, let's keep going with this. So we still need to clean the butter tank sump. And then we also got to clean that canister filter down there. But first things first, I want to fill this tank back up with some water. And then we'll continue on with this. So I have the two hoses running in there, bringing the water back into the tank. Um, I'll still use tank water to clean this canister filter. In fact, let's remove that right now, give you a better angle. Yeah, it's clean under there. We know it gets kind of messy up under these tanks, but it's clean under here. So I close them. If you get the chance, if you get the chance, oh my goodness, all right, and I, and I got my head cut off a little bit, I see, so we don't want that, so if you get the chance to actually clean out the hoses themselves, you may want to do that because it's always some debris build up all inside those hoses, so when you go ahead and cut them back on after you cleaned them, it blows all of that right back into your tank. It's never really enough to be alarming into where you think that you need a whole new cleaning all over again. But um, nonetheless, that's one thing to keep an eye out on. And that's how you could correct it. All right, so that's this one. All right, so I'm sure you guys know how to clean canister filters, right? Right? You need to see it? All right. Just in case you don't, just in case you don't know, I do this one for you. I always do it, but I do this one for you too. We'll let this tank uh, fill up and we'll head to the bathroom with this. First thing we do, empty out the water. So I just tilt it. that is allowing the water to come out and once you have enough out you can remove the lid without getting water everywhere guys long overdue now I'll dump out the rest of that water look at that tons of sand in there too tons of sand let me check that tank quick rinse right there it's looking good now it's time to do this all right tank looks good for now so I'll go ahead and cut off this water. Obviously there's gonna be water being pulled from the tank that's gonna go into the um, canister filter. But let me cut this water off anyway. All right guys, so we have our filter down there clean. 
I didn't show you every single little detail because I'm pretty sure we all understand how important it is to use your tank water to clean the media. And so with the FX4, always put one gallon of water inside this inside of your canister filter before you plug it up so it can prime it's going to self prime i've shown you this before i have no problem showing you again yeah so you see what i'm doing be careful with these right here i had one break on one of the fx6s when i did the 240 cleaning the other day and then I had to go and grab a spare from the FX4 that was on the 150. The first one broke, the second one came off. So be careful with these guys. Next, we still have to do the above the tank sump cleaning. Oh yeah, let's pour some of this uh, water conditioner. I don't even measure it. That's enough, that'd be enough. All right, next, put the filter back, make sure you put it in the right side. So this is in, this is out. There we go. You know if you've done it right, if you cut it off, if you open it up and you get bubbles like that. There you go. So if it's doing this right here, you know it's self priming. Also, take a look at all that debris that I was talking about that's inside of your hoses. Coming right on out. So once it's done priming, get a stop. That's a lot. Ooh, it's a lot. All right, now let's go ahead and plug it in. So our gravy, see that? It's on. More debris is shooting out. That usually drives me crazy, but you know what? It's whatever. Now. Now we're going to do the above the tank sump. Simple enough. I'll basically unscrew this union, disconnect the holes from the from the um, little um, pump right here, and then take each one to the bathroom and clean them. But this is the reason why I want you to take a look at this so you can see. Facts. Oh yeah, all that debris. Want to get that out? I will also put in some more, um, some more media. There you go. Look at that. See all that. Get all that out. But let's continue. I'll be back. So, all right, guys. So basically, for the cleanup, just disconnect it. It's so simple. Just disconnect it. That's about as clean as I want it. And now I just rinse off all these pads. And it's pretty easy. Watch what I do with the other side. So I'll rinse this real quick, and then I'll show you how I do the other side with the media. All right, so I grabbed a bit of this tank water. That's to make things easier. I mean, so I grabbed a little bucket of this tank water. So grab a bucket, use this right here. Got some tank water in there. And basically what I plan on doing is I'm going to take out all the media right here I'm going to clean it in this tank water, and then I plan to uh, clean this out. So I want to block this so it's not dropping out all this water. Like that, that's all of it. So that's that. 
That is empty now, so watch this. That's why I said this is so easy. This is so easy. Just like that. So I take this step back to the tub. So just like the last one, now I just rinse this out. So in the future, I'm keeping this kind of design. This is so much easier and faster than these canister filters. I'm gonna uh, cut that one off from there. All right, so that's, that's it. Quick rinse out. So that's it. That was a quick rinse out. So now I'll put these back. I'm actually going to buy some more of these because I really love just how well these work. So much surface area for the media. Take a look inside this bucket bag. We got the camera woman over here, guys. Thank you so much, babe, for all of your help. You're welcome, baby. All right, so look at that. So much room. Like, it's so much room for more media. So I usually stack them up too high like that. But I need to fill in all of this. And then look, right there. I think that's all I got so far, it is. So that's why I said I'll grab some of the media that I have, uh, have outside in the container to fill this up. And then so all we do is put it back. Right back up. We connect this right here. Get a close up of this. So this has this O ring up in there, just like that. Make sure that O ring is in there. Reconnect it. Done deal. Now. Let me uh, go ahead and plug this up for you guys. Got this bad boy connected. Check out the water coming to the to the sump. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Still not coming out yet, still on its way. But that's the water from cleaning the media that was in this compartment of the sump. Not bad at all. The cleaning on that sump took seconds, guys. Seconds. And if you think about the whole thing, it took minutes. This other one, on the other hand, it took a while. And like I told you, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm a little fast at doing some of these things. But I tell you what, it's certainly a lot of work when you have multiple tanks, and it would be easier with another set of hands. So as soon as Carter is old enough, <laughs> I got my other set of hands. Definitely. Careful, bud. I don't want to trip over that water. Woman down. All right, so, as I mentioned, I got some more media that I would like to add into this sump. So, I will actually go and grab that right now. All right, guys, so as you can see, right above my head, I have a whole little container full of media. It was from my old butter tank sumps that I had. So I'm putting them to use right here. So the way I have this going is I wanted to automatically have to pass all the water to have to pass through this one. And then it's just going to go along there. And then it's going to, you know, this water beneficial bacteria will be eating all of the bad bacteria. So we are good. We're golden guys. We are so golden. And again, need more, need more of these blocks. 
hopefully Higer will uh will send us some. I reached out to him. We'll see. But nonetheless, it's where we are with things, guys. We wanted you to see what I have going on. Get back into my groove of things, my video every every couple of days, every three days. But yeah. Ooh, that's another big piece. Yep. Need that. So I'm using the bigger pieces in here, guys. I feel like the bigger ones are a little bit better, makes it easier to clean. Um, and that's the thing. You know, if this was all like small broken up pieces, it might take a little bit longer, have a bucket, dump it all in, still tank water. Um, it won't take as long, but it still take a little bit longer compared to if you have these very big pieces or if you could take these little mesh bags and bag up everything, each compartment. But uh, yeah, so this tank is gonna take a little time to clear up. When it does, I will grab the camera again. Look at that log right there, that's terrible. I just cleaned this guy and they're already dropping logs. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll grab the camera again, obviously once this tank is clear, because I want you to see it when it's clear. And that's what I'm standing here, guys. Do you guys do this too? When you're, when you think you're done looking at stuff, you're like, oh, let me get this too. Oh, let me get this too. That's how I'm feeling about this glass. But let me go ahead and wrap this video up for you. I, uh, I definitely appreciate you guys for sticking around. Thank you so much. As you see, so much time has gone by. We have our wonderful camera woman back. But yeah, um, that's it couple more things that I do need to do but you'll see that in the montage but I'll tell you what it is so you know what to look for so we have some more um, debris on the bottom of this sand that I actually want to remove and then we obviously need to let this tank clear up so we can get the best video possible for YouTube so with that being said I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you learned something if you're new here and you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button and everybody make sure that notification bell is hit make sure you hitting that like button guys share these videos and again don't forget to follow me on instagram at the fish corner follow my facebook page the fish corner follow me on get, get on over to tiktok let's, let's tiktok is growing for everybody get on over there to tiktok follow me on the fish corner over there on tiktok guys and stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.